Hello and welcome to a new episode in the Current Affairs Review series by Vision IAS. In this episode, we are going to discuss a very interesting scientific concept that is the fifth state of matter or the Bose-Einstein condensate. The Bose-Einstein condensate has been recently created in the microgravity of the International Space Station for the very first time. So let's try to understand what this fifth state of matter or the Bose-Einstein condensate is and why its creation on the International Space Station is a big achievement for the scientific community. So in our daily life, we generally interact with three states of matter, the solid, liquid and gas. The fourth state or plasma is a high energy state and it occurs in high energy processes like during lightning or at the core of a star. So then how did the fifth state come into being for the very first time? In 1920, Indian physicist Satyendra Nath Bose did some calculations for the existence of a fifth state of matter. Building on his calculations, Albert Einstein predicted a new state of matter, which eventually came to be known as the Bose-Einstein condensate. However, till this point of time, it was only at a theoretical stage. It was only 1995 that two scientists, Cornell and Wieman, finally created this condensate. And in 2001, scientists Eric A. Cornell, Wolfgang Ketterl and Carl E. Wieman received the Nobel Prize in Physics for achieving the Bose-Einstein condensation. So let's understand how the Bose-Einstein condensates are created. When you hear the word condensate, think about the process of condensation and the way gas molecules come together and condense into a liquid. The molecules get denser or they get packed closer together. It all happens because there is a loss of energy. These gases, they are really excited atoms. When they lose energy, they slow down and they begin to collect. They can collect into one drop, like what happens with steam when it condenses to water. The water vapor cools on the metal and becomes a liquid again. You then have a condensate. The same thing happens with the Bose-Einstein condensate, but it happens at super low temperatures, at temperatures that are near absolute zero or the zero Kelvin. When you get to a temperature near absolute zero, something special happens. At zero Kelvin, all molecular motion stops. Atoms begin to clump and they lose all their energy. Since there is no more energy to transfer, all of the atoms have exactly the same levels. They act like twins. The result of this clumping is the Bose-Einstein condensate. The group of atoms sit in the same place creating a superatom. There are no longer thousands of separate atoms. They all take on the same qualities. At this point, the atoms become a single entity with quantum properties, wherein each particle also functions as a wave of matter. So, in essence, the Bose-Einstein condensate is formed by cooling a gas of extremely low density to super low temperatures, to temperatures near absolute zero or the zero Kelvin or minus 273 degrees Celsius. The density of these gases are about 100,000 the density of normal air. You can also remember that if plasma are super hot and super excited atoms, the atoms of Bose-Einstein condensate are totally opposite. They are super unexcited and super cold atoms. So then what was the need to create them in microgravity of the International Space Station? The Bose-Einstein condensates they straddle the line between the macroscopic world that is governed by forces such as gravity and the microscopic plane ruled by quantum mechanics. Due to which these condensates offer fundamental insights into quantum mechanics as well. But their measurement is distorted due to the effect of gravity on Earth. The Bose-Einstein condensates are extremely fragile and slightest interaction with the external world warms them past their condensation threshold. This makes their study nearly impossible on Earth, where the gravity also interferes with the magnetic fields that are required to hold them in place for observation. 
Due to these limitations, NASA launched a cold atom slab to the International Space Station in 2018. The creation of Bose-Einstein condensates on the International Space Station will make the study of its properties easier. It was observed that the condensates in the microgravity of the International Space Station can be observed and measured longer than that on Earth. On Earth, the observation is possible for tens of milliseconds, while on the International Space Station, it increased to just over a second. So what makes the Bose-Einstein condensates interesting for the scientific studies? The Bose-Einstein condensates are related to two remarkable low temperature phenomena. The first one is superfluidity, in which the Bose-Einstein condensates flow with zero friction. And the second is superconductivity, in which the electrons move through a material with zero electrical resistance. Experts also believe that the Bose-Einstein condensate contain vital clues to the mysterious phenomena such as dark energy. The experiments on the International Space Station will help us in tests of general relativity, searches for dark energy and gravitational waves, better navigation of spacecrafts, study of quantum mechanics on a macroscopic level, and also it will help us in prospecting for the subsurface minerals on moon and other planetary bodies. So this has been our discussion on the fifth state of matter or the Bose-Einstein condensate. I hope that you have now understood the concept in detail and also have understood the implications of the experiments being done on the International Space Station in detail. In the next episode of Current Affairs Review Series, we'll take yet another important current affairs topic. Till then, take care. Thank you.